I'm gonna play another one. That was fun. Uh, I'm recording this right after yesterday's video and um, right after all the barking. I just edited out all of the barking, actually. And uh, just to follow one of the through lines from yesterday's video, I just watched her, just watched her take the penguin squeaky toy and bring it up to her spot on the couch and then drop it behind the couch. So at some point, she's looking like she might take a dive for that again. Okay, a chance at redemption for Voon seems cool. I think there's a lot of cool and fun stuff that you can do on this hero. And I think we had a really good start <coughs> in that first game of the season, but I messed it up. So let's try again. I do like Brand as well, or Brand. That it, it's confusing that his ability is called Battle Brand, which makes sense too. Uh, but yeah, let's try out Rock Master Voon yet again and see what we can do. Did you get it, sweetie? No, she's going to get it soon. Okay. Hopefully no barking in this video. You guys, I, I edited it out already, so y'all aren't even going to hear the barking, but just in the mood to play some more Battlegrounds. It's brand new. It's fun. I'm recording these games on the 10th, which as far as I know is like basically the first day that it came out. A chance at a pair is not terrible. There's also a dozy whelp, which is cool to start with. And I think I am interested in, it's a little bit awkward because the first person we're playing against is not gonna field a character on turn one, but that's okay. And I, I, maybe at some point we'll take a look to see, like, just how much is not changed. But I also don't know, like, I think maybe some stuff changed today. And then some stuff is going to change in a few days. And some more stuff is going to change a few days after that. But they're, like, slowly ramping it out. So I don't know if that's why Nagas and Undead are largely the same. Just with a few small reworks in them. But maybe that's part of what we're looking at here. Let's just level up. We'll hope that our opponent levels up too, though. Yeah, there's not much that this can actually beat. It's just like a speculative thing. At the very least... The other options that we had, those Naga, aren't that great either, and they're kind of annoying that you have to spend part of your turn making them into a 3-3, rather than just allowing them to be 3-3s. Too much APM, right? Alright, what do we got here? Okay, that's pretty good. We're gonna take three still, because they're gonna summon two beasts. Probably just pair this off. At the end of your turn, give plus two attack to minions with less attack than this. Huh. That's really interesting. I'm just going to grab this for now. Because we'll grab a triple with it. This guy is tricky in that, like, in order to make use of his hero power, you either aren't leveling or you aren't going to get to play out your full board. But for this turn, we will be able to connect with the Dozy Whelp and then I'll level. That'll triple the Whelp. And I'll be able to grab a tier 4 character right off the rip here. If we can attack in the shell, ooh. Oh wait, 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 it works because Divine Shield but it gets destroyed regardless. Okay, nicely done. So now we triple the well. We level, probably. I think it's good to level here. So that way we grab a level four thing off of this. 
af while this is in your hand, okay, and you play a Murloc game of plus three, plus two, well, at risk of repeating the same thing, I'm tempted. Or <coughs> I can grab a seven, seven just immediately. An immediate 7-7 seven, seven also seems pretty good, though. This isn't going to do that much with additional stats. Let's grab it so I can play it this turn, though. Definitely no interest in tripling the corporal. Don't tell the others. But this is a really strong board for the here and now. So that's going to get us pretty far and will get us a win. Cool. So like I said, like playing for tempo and then playing for win is just kind of like good in general. But it's also pretty good on this hero. Ooh, I can faceless the jug. That sounds like a lot of fun. And then maybe I go for Patient Scout at the same time. Okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> uh, seems like too soon. I didn't realize this was Leroy. Leroy the Reckless. Cute. Yeah, I think we are definitely strong enough to grab a Patient Scout. That one might make all the difference. Taunt Reborn. Taunt is bad with the Corporal, but Reborn is good. So this is kind of an interesting mix of both worlds. I'll probably just put this here now. I think I've got enough things to make the Whelp work. You kind of want the Whelp to get out of the way as soon as possible. Oh, I just realized my camera froze again. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to restart it. It, like, froze, froze. Let's just take that off the screen. I'll control alt delete here and see if I can Don't tell the others. I'm restart it, but no promises. Leroy takes that out. Dozy Whelp is getting quite large at this point. And we're gonna grab a tie. Seems good to me. Seems good to me. So, we could grab a corporal. All right, let's, let's stop worrying about that. We could grab a corporal again just to triple it. That's actually probably pretty decent. Let's try something like this. Let's sell through Tad. And then probably just buy the green thumb. So Avenge 3, what does that look like? Can't stop a good lead. Okay, this is probably decent. End of turn, I'm going to grab an upbeat harmony for the corporal. And then next turn, I'll level up to level 4, which will allow me to grab a level 5 character from the Harmony. Or from the Discover. And a good enough level 5 character could give us a sense of direction, but we could also just use it for... I think I'm going to try to use it for Tempo again, so that it can justify buying even more levels. Wow. Wow. Oh, after you upgrades Bob's to tier 5, discover two dragons of any tier. Okay, so they powered up to 5 to use their hero power. That's really interesting. They, and they haven't taken that much damage as punishment, so they're doing pretty good here. 
We really wanted this to die, so that way we got to use the Avenge there. And looks like we will, so we'll get the Avenge on both the Mistake and the Faceless. And the Corporal's gonna go down. But it did, I think, actually buy us enough stats that we win the fight, so... Not too shabby. Let's see what level 5 character we get. Your minions really pulled their weight. Let's level up. How much will it cost to level again? 11. I think we probably just play this, though. There is, like, some... No, we just want to play Tempo as much as we can, and then we'll use the Patient Scout with the Upbeat Harmony eventually. Let's see what this gets me, then. Tier 5. Choose one. Trigger, trigger a battle cry or discover a battle cry. Spellcraft, Divine Shield. That's actually not too bad. Venomous, Death Rattle, give a Murloc Venomous. So that could hit the Mistake. Alright. I actually like this decently enough, too. Just playing a few different Venomous things. Might get rid of the Faceless now. I don't really like the Sparring Partner. Let's see if I can find anything better. I'm planning on leveling, but we could also use this Hero Power to just transition into Leapfrogger in the late game. I think that's a good enough excuse for a card. I don't hate the Bream counter just to use it exactly how we used it last game, but I'm going to try to go into Patient Scout shenanigans. I think that's going to work best for me. And the timing works out. Two turns left will activate off at the same time. Alright, so now this gets Venomous as well. And that's enough for a win against the Lobby Leader. So now I am the captain now. Your minions really pulled their weight. Oh, that's cool. This gets better the earlier you grab it. Um, two turns left. Well, this might not work out timing-wise. That would be unfortunate if so. Well, regardless, I think I'm strong enough here that I'm going to level. So next turn... Next turn, I think this will say... I don't know if this says one turn left or if it just glows. I think it just glows. Which I don't really love the two turns left. It's not super clear. Which means I'm not going to hit level six, nor am I really going to be able to utilize it super well. Who knows? Maybe I just grab some Leapfroggers then. Maybe I find... Baron or Rivendare, whatever it's called now. And go for a Leapfrogger strat. Which still seems to... I mean, all you need for the Leapfrogger strat is Leapfrogger. So it seems like that's mostly intact, despite the rotation of cards. Maybe it's just not as strong as it used to be, but... It still seems cool to me. Oh, is that my camera coming back online? Yes. My camera dies again. I will just let it burn. Okay. Maybe I should be ordering the Belcher earlier. But the, uh, the Venomous was just kind of irrelevant there. I don't know. Important thing is we've been strong enough. So is this... Yeah, end of this turn. Nice work out there. A little bit awkward. Battlecry, give your other dragons stuff. Double its stats. 
we could still potentially find something cooler. But we'd have to do so this turn, which is level, roll, and then selling off three things. Yeah. Let's try it. Do we find anything cool? No. Well, either way, I don't need this. Let's see if I can find it right here. End of turn effects trigger twice. That's kind of like a buddy. Give your dragons. So this would allow me to triple it. And what do I like? Get rid of the corporal? I don't know. That doesn't seem great. Sell out of Leroy and a Leapfrogger to buy a Dark Rye. I'm gonna take some damage here to That'll do some damage. pick up the Dark Rye. Do I do? So now I should. This should trigger twice. And I should get two copies of Operatic Belcher. And then maybe I look for some other Murlocs and put some health on them. I'm not sure. But it does trigger twice. I did a nice little cord going on. Alright, so we take out this and survive. Trigger the battle cries of adjacent minions. Oh no, it didn't survive. Direct. We need this to hit here for it to be relevant. Yeah, just not going to be relevant. Then we lose this to a 0-3 taunter. That's terrible. And we take some damages. Okay, okay. Oh, you can use that every turn to really snowball. All right, well, let's get my first Belcher online. And let's look for good other end of turn effects. Maybe right here. No. This seems fun. I really don't know what it is, but I feel like we're grabbing it early enough that I could try. Reborn Death Rattle summon one eternal night. Kind of seems fun. Let's the Boogie Monster. This music, so delicious. This seems like it would be good. And this seems like it would be good, too. Like, I want to get this in early so I can double its stats. What have I become? Hmm... Just get rid of this thing. Like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. We're not gonna keep this around forever, but I wanna find a tier two card. Sure. It's probably a fine enough use of my gold. I'm just curious what happens when you complete the chain for the boogie monster. I feel like this is like an interesting enough thing that there's probably a fun payoff. But I got no clue. And doubling the stats of the Myrmidon seems pretty powerful. Is this a real comp? I, I, I mean, I doubt it, but seems fine. I'm holding this to be my level five. You're good at this. Still a ways off. Battle cry. I uh, don't really have that. Uh, so where am I at right now? A tier four. Tier four. I need to roll for a tier four. All right, I got a five. And a six. 
don't like either of these sixes. Start of combat, give a friendly undead. Reborn. That would be my mistake. These are kind of a combo. And a combo with this. So let's grab these. And then roll for a four. That'll do some damage. Sure. All right, this was also my five. I'm gonna get rid of this mistake. That's my four. No. Let's double up this thing. What happens now? So now it has to be tier six characters. Okay, I can sell this off for another taunt guy. For justice. So now I just want to buy as many tier six minions as possible, which seems like something that I already wanted to do. Um, but start of combat doubling this guy's stats seems like it will get me pretty far. I will just have to battle through some venomous things along the way, but... <laughs> the Dozy Whelp is tough to cut because it's staying strong. Oh, we trade venomous cards there, and then we find a win, and we're potentially in the top four. Oh, we're also getting kills right now because we're playing all level six characters. Did not think about that. Okay. That's pretty cool. And it looks like we get the ghost here. Work out there. Keep up the Let's definitely grab a walking fort. Gonna sell through Uther. Any other cool sixes? Not really. It's good, not great. I do kind of have a nice little menagerie going on, but... And this is an end of turn effect. You know what I also want to do is give some other things taunt. Which, as far as I know, there's a level 2 thing, and then there's like a level 4 thing or something. So finding the other taunt giver could be good. Let's find that. There is also a Naga, or used to be a Naga at least, that gave things taunt. I think I want another of this guy. It's not super impressive right this second. Might have to just sell through the Belcher. I mean, the dragon is just so big. Alright, let's grab another one of these. What have I become? Now it's really tough to find cards to add to the board. But I can triple a fort. I don't really want to triple the Myrmidon, but I guess I will. Yeah, I guess I'll triple the Myrmidon. Do I lock Murazand? I might do. Uh, no, because I need to triple something before I can add more things to the board. Boogie Monster's cool. We're boogieing. We're getting down. Oh, I did not leave anything in my hand for the upbeat harmony. Oh, shoot. Forgot about my hero power. It's tough. It's tough. Do we see any Venomous? No Venomous, so we win. Easy as that. <laughs> Yeah, we just crash through all of this stuff here. Hi, sweetie. Alright. Maybe two more battles, though. Because we're hitting some people for... I mean, that was 28. That could be lethal. 
Don't know if this player had a Venomous or not, though. Okay, well, an early triple is a fantastic way to start this turn off. Because that's two sixes. Another six. Boogie Monster, probably not. Oh, I could triple it. Yeah. Yeah. Could also just use Boogie Monster to loot through stuff, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to look for Taunt for the other Myrmidon. Uh, making it a 15-15 is also not bad. Because this is also a 6. Yeah, let's grab this. For justice. Oh! There's the Vigilant Stoneborn. Okay, so let's sell out of this. Vigilant Stoneborn. We're going to throw that here so that it gains all the stats from the fort. And then I'm probably just going to slam down the Boogie Monster after a roll. Yeah, let's just play the Boogie Monster. It's just a little bit more stats. I'll try to rearrange the board. I'm basically going to fail to do so, though. No, okay, that worked. That worked. And I'm rearranging the board here so that way we can try to deal the most amount of damage by not having my thing suicide here. Okay, that is a huge, huge, huge Stormbringer that's going to trade with one of my cards. Hopefully not my Myrmidon. Okay, nice. Trades with my level 1 character. Now, can these survive enough other stuff? I think so. Oh, now we just have to battle through this. It trades here. No, it doesn't quite trade. It doesn't quite trade. So we don't hit my opponent for full lethal here. I'm probably just going to sell out of the Boogie Monster. Your minions really pulled their weight. <sighs> Divine Shield and Reborn, but no Taunt. So this basically gives plus 8 plus 8, which is plus 16 plus 16 to a bunch of my cards. I think I'm going to sell out of this Boogie Monster. What did they have? I don't remember. Think Dragons. I can make another Taunter. Give four friendly taunts. So I can only use this one more time anyways. Is this the right Boogie Monster? Yes. So this is the max amount of taunts that this thing can even pump. So we're boogieing. Even though I could give something else taunt, it's not worth it. But giving this plus 8 plus 8 is also not bad. Let's boogie first. Discover a Naga. You down a minion and up a gold. Mm, doesn't matter to me. Let's see if you can stay on top. All right, my opponent has one really, really huge dragon and several other large ones, plus a divine shield. Okay, we hit the brand first, and then. The Myrmidon does not die. This is good. Now they both trade into this, and we win! Nicely done. Okay, okay. This was cool. This was fun. Um, an interesting comp. I don't know if the Boogie Monster is generally just something silly, but... The taunt thing definitely does seem good. There we go. There's 300 from that one. Maybe we were, we were at negative one after that first loss on the floor. But either way, now we are up to 600 with two wins in a row. Uh, pretty nice stuff. And I think we redeemed ourselves here with Voon. I did still make a mistake late in the game where I just kind of forgot about the Voon hero power. But other than that... I just used him for some nice tempo to get to the late game and then didn't really use him that much in the late game. I don't think 
I grabbed additional copies of any of these cards other than the Dragon Whelp, which I picked up at the very start and then took all the way to the end there. Uh, yeah, didn't, didn't make use of Voon for anything else, but Voon definitely helped me get here for today. That's going to be it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm Nolux Given. Peace.